Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world! Can you tell what we're doing? That's right, we're putting the Christmas decorations up. We love Christmas! Yes, we do! Hello, everyone! Christmas only comes once a year. Are you sure it's Christmas, Small? Of course it's Christmas, Ben. It's snowing outside, we've been singing Christmas songs, and we're decorating our tree. <laughs> Doesn't it look great? I don't know, Small. I think there's something missing. You're right, Ben. But I don't know what. Why don't we have a rummage around in this box? Good idea. Rummage, rummage, rummage. Hey, <laughs> that's me looking for something for our tree. Oh, oh, oh Small, look at this. <laughs> oh, there's a little one here as well. There you go. Thanks, Ben. Hey, look at me, Ben. Oh, ha, ha, ha! Ho, ho, ho! Steady on, Ben. If you keep laughing like that, you'll split your sides. Oh, that wasn't me, Small. I did laugh, but my laugh is more of a ha, ha, ha. Not a ho, ho, ho! You're right. It's more of a ho, ho, ho! And it sounds like it's coming from the cafe. I think we've got a customer, Small. Better go and see who it is. I'm on my way. Woohoo! So who is it, Small? I know it's somebody with a big laugh. Any other clues? You won't believe this, Ben. He's wearing a red suit and black boots. A red suit and black boots? And he's got a white beard and holding a big sack. Is it Father Christmas in our cafe? Yes, it's Father Christmas. <whistles> oh, sleigh bells. And I think he's brought his reindeer too. Now, what can we cook for Father Christmas? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day, I decided to ask Father Christmas a really important question. So I climbed onto my wooden spoon and flew to the North Pole. By the time I got there, it was Christmas Eve. I knocked on the door and Father Christmas said, Ho, 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 little cook small. Merry Christmas, and how can I help you? Father Christmas, I said. I wondered what you would like for a Christmas present. Well, said Father Christmas, I'd like some time. Some time? I said. Yes, every Christmas we get lots and lots of snow here in the North Pole. But with all these presents to wrap and deliver, I never have time to build a snowman. Well, to be perfectly honest, I wasn't surprised he didn't have time to build a snowman. The place was in absolute chaos. There was wrapping paper and toys and mess everywhere. I decided to help. I asked the elves to get into a long line. The first elves finished making the toys. They passed the presents along to be wrapped and I stuck the bows and labels on. The rest of the elves passed the presents outside so that Father Christmas could stack them onto the sleigh. We had finished the job in no time. Come on everyone, we can build a snowman. Hooray! Father Christmas was really excited. He couldn't believe he had some time. Soon Father Christmas got onto his sleigh to deliver the presents to all the children all over the world. As he rode off, Father Christmas declared it was the best Christmas present he'd ever had. 
Let's all come to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Oh, I'd love to go to the North Pole and build a snowman with Father Christmas. Just one thing, though. If it's Christmas time, what's Father Christmas doing here? Well, hey! He's hungry! <laughs> ha, ha, ha! Ho, ho, ho! Ha, ha, ha! Come on, Small! Sounds like we've got work to do. You're right, Ben. What can we cook for Father Christmas? Hmm. Oh! I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! I found it small! The perfect recipe for Father Christmas! Meringue Snowman! That's brilliant, Ben! Father Christmas loves snowmen! OK, then, little cook, you read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them! OK, let's see. We're going to need eggs. OK, over to the fridge. Here we go. Eggs. Oh, yes, got those small! Creme fraiche. Oh, in the fridge as well. Lovely and tasty creme fraiche. Got it. Sugar. Should be in the cupboard. Here we go. Got the sugar. Yep. Icing sugar. Oh, that's in here as well. Got the icing sugar. Icing pens. Here we go. Got the icing pens. Yep. Oil. Here we are. Got the oil. Yeah. And marmalade. Marmalade. Oh, we haven't got any of that. But we've got everything else we need for the recipe. Hmm. I wonder why we haven't got any marmalade. That's because I ate it all for breakfast, Ben. Hee hee hee. Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. <laughs> Come on then, Small. Why don't you whiz off and get some marmalade and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. See you later. Ho ho ho. Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh. I wonder what he'll see today. This is where marmalade is made, from fresh oranges. First, the oranges have to be cooked in hot water. The oranges have shrunk. The oranges are all soft now, so they can be easily peeled. This is the orange peel. It's all been cut into thin pieces. The bits of peel and the juice are all mixed up together. Whoosh! Wow! This room looks amazing. The mixture has to be boiled up in one of these funny-looking ovens. Whoosh! In it goes. It's getting really hot in there. Bubble, bubble, bubble. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. <laughs> it's draining away. I wonder where it's going. Oh, look, it's the jars. The mixture is filling up the jars. The jars are full, but something's missing. Oh, yes, the lids. There they are. Yummy, yummy, lots of marmalade. Whee! Round and round. Marmalade on toast. This little girl is having it for her breakfast. Yummy! That was great fun. See you later. Way! Hey, I'm back. Hello there, Small. Did you get the missing ingredient? I certainly did. I found out how marmalade is made, and here it is. <whistles> Whoa! Hey, 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 thanks, Small. I went to a fantastic factory where marmalade is made. It was made from oranges. Well, ha-ha-ha! <laughs> ho, ho, ho! We're, We're ready, ready to go. go! We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruit smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is 
big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Meringue Snowman? You do. There were eggs, three, creme fraiche, two tablespoons, sugar, 170 grams, oil, just a drop, marmalade, a couple of teaspoons, so plenty left for small's breakfast. And for decoration, icing sugar, just a sprinkle, and icing pens, any colours you like. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now the first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 150 degrees Celsius, gas mark 2. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this job for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Next, you take your carrot. There isn't a carrot in this recipe, Small. Oh, sorry, Ben. You need to separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm going to put the egg onto this plate, like that. And then I'm going to put a pastry cutter over the egg yolk. That's the yellow bit in the middle. And pour the egg white into a bowl. Now I'll do the rest. <laughs> Always remember to wash your hands when you're handling raw egg. We only need the egg whites for the meringue. <laughs> Lovely. Three egg whites, no yolks. I'm sure there's something missing from this tree. Shh. Next, whisk the egg whites until they're stiff. Hey, you're right, Ben. The Christmas tree does look a little bit bare near the top. Now, this can take a while. So whisk the egg whites until they start to form little peaks. Are there little peaks on the egg whites yet, Ben? Yes, already. Little peaks, just like the top of our tree. Now, as soon as you've got your little peaks, it's time to add the sugar. A little at a time, then whisk it in. A little more. Whisk it in. Repeat this until you've whisked in all the sugar. I've put some greaseproof paper onto a baking tray and covered it in a little oil to stop the meringue from sticking. And another carrot. It must be Christmas, Ben. There's so much to do. To make a meringue snowman, put a big blob of the meringue here and then a smaller blob just above for his head. This one's his body and this one's his head. Can you guess who the carrots are for? <laughs> you need to cook these at the centre of the oven for about one hour. So, oven gloves on. And over we go. Open up the oven and pop them inside. After an hour, turn the oven down to its lowest setting, put them at the bottom of the oven to dry out for about two hours. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do. Ben, can we do that snowman rhyme now? Great idea, Small. Will you join in with the actions? A chubby, a chubby little, little snowman had a carrot, carrot nose. Along came a bunny, and what, what do you suppose? That hungry little bunny, looking for his lunch, ate the snowman's carrot nose, nibble, nibble, crunch. <laughs> <laughs> the meringues are cooked and cooled now, and I've decorated them using the icing pens. I've given him a pair of eyes, a mouth, some buttons, 
a little carrot nose, and a lovely scarf. Father Christmas must be really hungry by now. His reindeer will be hungry too. <laughs> now spread the marmalade on one side of the meringue. Like this. Now we're using marmalade, but you could always use fruit. And now I'm going to pop on a blob of creme fraiche. There we are. And then sandwich two together. Hoo hoo! This looks tasty. And now I'll pop it on a plate. And I'm going to sprinkle a little icing sugar over the top to look like snow. Don't forget the carrots, Ben. Small? There aren't any carrots in this recipe. But the reindeer might like them. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Well done, Small. I'd forgotten about the reindeer. They must be hungry too. So it's one meringue snowman with carrots for the reindeer coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and pop, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes, Small. And it looks like Father Christmas enjoyed his meringue snowman. Look, he's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Hoo-hoo! Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My meringue snowman was delicious. Whoopee! And the reindeer loved their carrots, too. I couldn't help noticing there was something missing from your Christmas tree. So, I thought you might like this star. It's a present from me, from Father Christmas. I knew there was something missing. Hey, hey! It's the star from the top of our tree. Now the tree's finished. That proves it. Snow, reindeer, and a present from Father Christmas. You're right, Small. It must be Christmas. See you soon. See you soon. <laughs> Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone. We'll cook for everyone.